Well, hello, everybody. Mary Sloan here with another episode of Inspirational Influencer News, Secrets of People Making Money While They're Making a Difference. And we're going to do things a little differently today. So I hope you enjoy and have a lot of fun. My guest, I'm not going to tell you her name for a little while, and I'll tell you about her later. I want you to ask yourself the question, have you ever felt overwhelmed and energetically drained by too many responsibilities? If that's you, then my guest would tell you, and what would you tell them, Angie? Oh, goodness. Well, buckle in, listen up, because uh, we're going to take that conversation to the next level. Oh, cool. All right. And um, so my guest today is awesome Angie Ingstrom and how she helps entrepreneurs get unstuck and become unstoppable in business and life. Couldn't we all use a little bit? Of that. Absolutely. And Angie's bio is really interesting because despite her natural bubbly personality, Angie suddenly dropped into a dark place where she couldn't sleep at night or get up to face the day. She lost her joy. The pit of depression was her life. All that changed when she discovered how to rise up without the use of pharmaceuticals, which resulted in a level of health and vitality she didn't even know existed in herself. For the past 25 years, she's been the go-to coach for world record holding athletes and entrepreneurs. Angie is on a mission to empower creative entrepreneurs and professionals to become high-performing leaders so they can exceed their biggest business goals. Her community calls her Awesome Angie. And when you listen to her teach, you will immediately recognize how much she honors the awesomeness in all those around her. So I hope you're ready to have more inspiration, more personal power, and one thing I love more than anything, fun. So let's all welcome Awesome Angie. Yay. Thank you, Mary, for having me. This is so fun. Great. Do we do anything else? Oh, um, yeah. Let's see. Why don't you? Uh, well, let me t let me tell you about um, my entrepreneur journey, um, how I became an entrepreneur. Um, I was actually born into it, in my opinion. Um, I grew up on a farm. And what's the, you know, what's more entrepreneurial than that? <laughs> I never knew my dad to ever go to a job. And so entrepreneurship was in my blood. Um, have you ever, have you ever, can you, Mary, can you say you've, before today, have ever met anyone that grew up on a pig farm? Before today, I can't say that. <laughs> I mean, I lived in sort of, well, I, I rode horses and was often in the area of farms, but no, it okay. was, you know, wheat and oats and those kinds of things. Pigs. There's lots of cattle. But no <laughs> pigs. <laughs> All right. Uh, new record. I, so I grew up on a pig farm and it was a very enchanted childhood. And uh, I'm sure your listeners could probably relate to this. Um, you know, have any of you been, you know, bought into that? I, I call it a lie, you know, to go to school get a good education, go get a job and you'll make it. Um, and I, I, that's what I grew up with. And um, even though I was in this entrepreneurial world, which was good for me because when I graduated college and that was my goal was to let's work for a few years, like an apprentice and then start my own business. I had that grounding. I just knew I was going to have my own business. I, that was a knowing for me. And um, yeah, so that's how I got started in entrepreneurship. Well, you know, I think it's sad that so many people still think that they have to get that college education. Because yeah. as I've 
told people frequently, college education is great to create great employees. It's not for great for creating great entrepreneurs. That's my, <laughs> that's my uh, cut on it. And I've got lots of education, way too much. And it didn't help me. Um, and it didn't help me certainly to go on and be the entrepreneur I always wanted to do. So, I, I agree. And, and I'll add to that real quick. Um, so when, had I known what I know now with on, this entrepreneur conversation and what we're about to talk about now, um, when I graduated high school, had I known all this then, I had so much more energy and zest for life then. And, it, and I, I feel like the college experience knocked me down a little bit in a way, even though I, I appreciate all of it. It was all great experience. Um, learned a ton, met a lot of great people, but um, I just had a different angle entering the work world. Yeah, it's interesting. Very interesting journey. So as an entrepreneur, do you have some process that will help other people? Definitely. So around this conversation of, you know, just, you know, just when you go for things in life, resistance in, is inevitable and it, 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 you can't get around it whenever you go for anything in life. And um, I enjoy that conversation because I can understand that a, a resistance to a depth that most people have hopefully have never get to because I really went down into this d deep pit, um, depression, isolation, just, you know, and I put myself there, kept myself there. I didn't, I was in denial that I was there. There was all these things happening. And for me to be able to climb out of that with these tools, um, I, it's super fun to share. Like the first thing I would say to someone is getting grounded back into personal power. And my tagline is, you know, I'm awesome, Angie. Um, and it's because I honor the awesomeness in everyone. And I see, I can see and uh, and just and really encourage that awesomeness out of people. That's that's one of the gifts that I have as a leader. But it takes that self leadership piece first. Do, do, um, can you relate to that? The whole self leadership piece, being able to like when you're on a plane, put that mask on yourself, get grounded yourself, so that you can help others. And that yeah. yeah, that personal power piece is very strong. Um, oh, that's it, great. It's foundational. And because then at, at that point, then it's a matter of structure. And I find, like, I didn't realize this back then. Um, so this is a really good tip that if you can wrap your head around it, take, it took me some time to really ground into this, but there's a, there's a creative structure and then there's a problem solving structure. And I've got all sorts of science that goes deep into why all that happens, but the book, um, have you read the book? I'm sure, uh, Think and Grow Rich, mm -hmm. yep, Napoleon Hill. There's just, he talks about Henry, Henry Ford in there. I love sharing this about Henry yeah, Ford. I, mean, I loved all that. <laughs> yes. I, Cause I, I just remember re reading, um, he reminded himself every day that he was building the best car in the world. We're building the best car in the world. I'm building the best car. You know, he, every, that was, he just, that's what, the, that's a success principle. And why would, yeah, you know, we, you know, we look at that and we think, well, that's obvious. Henry Ford's building the best cars in the world, but he, why was it he had to remind himself every day? There's a reason for that. We've, there's all this resistance and noise and chatter and um, the society, and there's lots of things that are pulling at our attention. And if we don't stay focused on what we are going for and stay creative rather than fixing things, it's a very subtle shift. Um, and it's a dance that it's part of the human nature that we, if we don't intentionally focus where we want to focus, then, uh, that can, we can get derailed really fast without even necessarily even knowing it. So that would be the next step of the, and I, the, I can talk in depth on how all that works and like ways to stay in that structure and what to look out for. <laughs> we can go deep on that one. And, and you know, it's interesting that you say that because Elon Musk and Tesla is demonstrating that live as we speak every day. 
every day he's out there telling the world, mostly telling himself how Tesla is the most amazing, the most awesome, the best. And, you know, um, and that's a great thing to think about as an entrepreneur. You have to be the champion of your business of what you do first, and then other people will get on board. That's a, that's a great, that's a great process. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. It's, um, it, and it's interesting because it seems so simple, but yet it's so powerful. It's so simple that it almost doesn't pierce our consciousness. It's like, oh, yeah, it's like like air, like breathing, like, oh, it's there until it's like, you know, and you're in a bad environment with the poor air. You don't even think about it and you can't even, you know, you don't really even need to think about it. And then when somebody says something about it, it's like, I don't know, it's just it's air, like, <laughs> <laughs> or like a fish in water, like, you know, they're swimming around doing these cool things and, you know, in the giraffes of the world, you know, like just comment like oh you yeah i love how you can swim so well and in the water and the fish is like water what are you talking about water what <laughs> what's water <laughs> we just we we don't it can't even pierce that consciousness and we, as, especially if we're living in our genius um that's what i help people get to is that level of genius and what's what's fascinating this third part of the system that i use is when I say this, it's going to sound again, so simple, but there's so much depth to it. And it, and, and these three things that I've mentioned are um, kind of meta, they kind of circulate together with each other. But the third one would be creating true choices. And like, because we can choose to go for something that is really incorrect if we don't know the structure of how to create a good choice. Um, yeah, it, it's a lot of times what we what ends up happening, especially for entrepreneurs, we can start creating things that help us uh, fill in that gap of being incomplete. Like we're, we're just trying to fill in some gaps um, rather than creating what we love and what we're called to create. It's very subtle. Does that make sense, Mary? Did I? So I guess those are the things that you say holds people back. Is that is that fair? Is definitely, that definitely. Yes, these are very subtle things that until people are even aware that they're there, um, you know, they may not. They may not even. You know, for me, like it was like, why am I banging my head against the wall? Like, it, but then when you learn something, it's like, oh. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. I, mm, interesting. And yet you just rise up to that next level. And um, yeah, so there's all these little nuances I've picked up over the, the years that um, have just kind of lit me up to, you know, oh, oh, okay. And that's what we do with entrepreneurs is if we're aware of it and we pay attention to it and walk in our world intentionally looking for, not necessarily looking for them, but allowing them, um, again, that back to that first one, that peace, when you're grounded in that peace, it allows that wisdom to rise up in a way where you didn't have access to it before. But it's it's a matter of, um, again, back to getting that personal, personal power, walking in peace, um, and then being in that right structure, but then, and then making the right choices, the true choices to correlate all of that together. It's when you put all that together, it's powerful, but it's all those little things that we may not even be aware of that pull us down. Does that make sense? That sounds absolutely amazing. And you know what I, what's really sad is as usual, we're running out of time. So oh. how do our listeners get hold of you? Because I'm sure it is those little stumbling blocks, those little things that are preventing them from soaring, you know, and we all were meant to soar. So what should the listener do next? Absolutely. So I put together a, a masterclass to explain and go into depth on, on these to really help entrepreneurs understand these blocks. And um, it's called inspiredlifealive.com forward slash Mary. So again, it's www.inspiredlifelife.com. <laughs> Yep. Dot com forward slash Mary, our very own Mary. Um, go to that link and it'll get you all the details to register for the next masterclass. And 
I am thrilled to be able to meet your listeners and to walk them through this journey. It's it's a really neat experience. It's a de- it's we go in depth in a way that they're going to come out of that. It's a four hour masterclass. Sounds like it could be a lot, but we go in deep with an intention to come out, transform and up level. It's really, really cool. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, you know, (laughs) everything, everybody that can transform me, I'm there. So I'll be there. And uh, hopefully a lot of our listeners will be there too. So Thank you so much. It's been really, really a lot of fun. Thanks for hosting me, Mary. Appreciate it. Keep being awesome.